Hello, my name is Kevin Arul, and I'm from Mount Michael. Okay. And the title of this poem is called, In Chennai, India, My Grandfather Buys Rice and a Stuffed Bear for a Father and His Son. An ice cream smudge on my nine-year-old face, the eggshell white contrasting the caramel brown. Across from me, grandfather, white shirt parted at the collar, gold hang, chain, hang loosely as an untied shoelace. As the last glob of ice cream plummets into my stomach, we slowly rise and exit. The street surges with people in the way dead leaves cover the ground on an October afternoon. Smells of marvelous food sweep the air, making it hard for me to breathe. Voices were louder than rain beating down on a metal ceiling. Cosmic colors are everywhere, making the city look like a color wheel. I felt at home. I was filled with joy. As I danced my way through the rigged street, as I was making my, as I was making my way to the coveted end of this journey, I looked to my left and I winced. I pulled at my grandfather's shirt and he turned slowly and was taken by shock. On the side of the street, we saw a middle-aged man missing his left arm, screaming for money. Next, his boy missing his left leg. Both are shirtless, the boy's dusky skin making shimmer the red on a bracelet, his bones through tight skin, cadaverous as the limbs of a newborn tree, his hair slick as if someone dumped olive oil all over his head. His shorts strained around his hips, making it look like it pained him. The father's long beard is riven with strands of white hair like strands of floss. His ribs jut out, visible to everyone willing to not look away as bags under his eyes try to stay attached to his face. I look at his feet. They are scarred and dried as burnt toast. My grandfather walks and he calmly asks this man and this child their story. The father spoke. His voice tremored like a skinny tree on a windy day. And he said, I was a cop. I threw someone in jail hoping to bring peace and happiness to this ungrateful city. But the gang of this man took my son and cut off his leg. They took me and cut off my arm. One night they took torches to my house and all I could see was fire. <laughs>